Hey guys, it's Richie. Today I'm at Impact Exhibition Center in Bangkok, Thailand for the 45th International Motor Show. There's a few concept cars I want to see, so let's see if we can go find them. Now look at this. Over here at the Mercedes booth, they have a Maybach. This thing's freaking huge. It's very shiny, super fancy looking. Over here we got an SLS with the gold wing doors. These things look awesome. I always like them as the, the pace car for Formula One. Here's one of the concept cars I was looking for, the Mercedes Vision 111. This thing looks insane in person. It's our new EV concept. Yeah, it's incredible. Look how big these wheels are. And this interior is crazy. I don't know about this, this yoke thing that all the cars are going with now. It's a very minimalist interior too. And you got like your bag that you can have back in there. It's kind of interesting. But like the aero stuff going on with this car looks really cool. Like look at the diffuser going on with it. The lights remind me of the that Honda EV that they have. The, the Honda that looks like a Volkswagen Rabbit. <laughs> so right here we have a Manthe Performance Kit 911. Uh, the, the sign over here says that it's $667,000. It's like oh, over 24 million Thai bot. It's crazy. It looks cool though. Like, I like the aero disc on the wheel. Uh, it's got some front splitter thing that's part of the kit and the tow hook. And then I think the, the rear diffuser is different too. And maybe the spoiler. Here's a 911 I really like, a GT3 RS. I really like this yellow and red uh, color scheme that they have going on. It looks really cool. And they all have the center lock wheels, which is awesome. And these wheels look great. I like all these little hollow sections to lighten it up. That looks awesome. It's got some huge brakes on it too. Then they have all this venting going on. This is super cool. I love these cars. Here's one car I think is kind of funny. It's a Taycan Turbo. It's electric. There's no turbo. I don't get why they do that kind of name convention on a car that can't have a turbo. It's impossible. I guess they look kind of neat though. But I saw they start at 6.85 million baht, so it's around $188,000 starting. Here's a booth for some of my Swedish subscribers. We got the Volvo booth over here, and they have their new EV crossover thing, the EX30. I didn't actually know about this. I thought they only had some other uh, Polestar, I think it is, the Polestar brand cars. I don't think I see any of those here. These look pretty decent. I think it would look good if they just like slammed it and made it a regular car though. This yellow's not bad. The wheels look kind of ridiculous though. These S90s look really cool. Just a big touring car. Yeah, they didn't actually have very many cars at the Volvo booth. I thought there would be a few more. All right, moving on. We got Nissan over here. Still looks like kind of boring stuff. They don't have any sports cars or anything. Here's a Nissan that isn't boring. This new concept van. This thing looks pretty cool. I mean, what is going on in the interior? Is it supposed to be a self-driving concept or hopefully just do that when it's stopped? This thing looks pretty cool. It's the Hyper Tour. I like how the wheels blend into the tire tread pattern. And they're pretty insane looking wheels. This is pretty awesome at the Mitsubishi booth. They've got this Triton race truck. I really like this uh, livery that they have going on where it's red on one side and blue on the other, or teal. This thing looks super cool. I wonder if they race it in like the Super Series or anything. Let's see if we can see inside. I kinda wish they would roll the windows down. It's got a nice looking cage in it though. And over here, they have this like rally truck. This thing looks rad too. It's got carbon fiber doors and a bed. Whoa, the back of this looks awesome. 
Oh, you got all your gear back here. They even got a winch. That looks like a really nice setup. Look underneath. Whoa, look at all the suspension stuff going on. What are all these? Those are some big brake hoses. Or they got uh, anti-chafing rubber on them. It's got some nice big brakes on the back. Wow, look at this crazy Audi TT. It's got some fancy art concept going on. It said the character's name is Look. So you see him right here. And just print it all over. That looks crazy. All right, let's see what else they got at the Audi booth. They have something pretty interesting that I've never seen before. And they've got an e-tron GT right here. It looks like it's about six million bought or for the motor show price. It says the retail price is 7.2 million. I'm not sure how much that is, but it's not cheap. It looks really cool though. But they have another car over here that I really like, the RS5. And I really like this green color on it. It looks really cool. I was working at an Audi dealer when the 5 Series came out. It was super fun to drive. And next to it, they have this RS7. This matte blue looks really nice on it. Look at these wheels. It's kind of crazy how thin the spokes are on these for how massive they are. This thing looks cool though. And they've got this purple RS4 over here. This is a really nice color. Like it's kind of subdued, but it's different. So it looks nice. Yeah, those flared arches look sweet. We got the Rolls Royce booth over here. They got their rope over here to keep the pores out. They got the Spectre hidden off over there with the weird lighting. They can't let the riffraff like me in there. <laughs> Here's another, I'm assuming, Chinese EV manufacturer. Look, they have this crazy quadcopter thing. Or like pilotable drone. I mean, that's, that's pretty different for one of these car manufacturers. Look, and they're just letting kids spin the props, apparently. I like these carbon fiber propeller blades. How do you pilot this thing, though? Like, it's just got these screens. Do you at least get a remote control? Seems dangerous. I didn't expect to see a Peugeot booth over here. And they also seem to just have SUVs. Is this one? Oh, here we got a 408. That's a car, right? Now it looks kind of like a crossover kind of car. The, the styling on the rear end is kind of neat though. I like how the hatch is set up. When did Peugeot start making trucks? Like I, I know they had like a 405 pickup a long time ago, but this is like more like a regular sized truck. That was just like a car with a pickup bed, like a ute. And it's still, that's yeah, a decent sized bed on it. All right, for a, for a four-door truck, that's a decent sized bed, I guess. Oh, it actually looks pretty neat. This green color on it looks really cool too. Okay, here's some really cool cars that Hyundai has. They have this R22e, I think it was called, uh, concept car, or maybe they make it, I'm not sure. It's part of their N series of cars. And then over here, they have the Elantra N. That looks really cool. And then they have the Ionic N. That, it looks pretty neat. I think the other two look a lot better though. Yeah, it's awesome that they're, they're doing cars like this. I'm over here in the BMW booth. Man, do they have some ugly cars now. What the hell happened with their styling? Like they got this new M2. What is going on with the front end on this thing? Like it looks so strange. This profile here looks really weird. I don't know, just the side profile on this thing's strange. I kind of like how the, the trunk lid goes up, but I don't know about this weird little spoiler thing that they have on. It's odd. At least it's like a different color. Like the blue color on that car is cool. And the purple on this one looks pretty nice too. 
Some of these styling things that they're doing on their cars is like so strange. And then they just have tons of SUVs that are equally as bad. They do have the Z over here though. But even this thing, like what's going on with the, the nostrils on this? They're starting to look like, I don't know, just really weird pigs or something. But it, this is like the most crowded booth so far. Maybe just because it's BMW, people will buy it. I don't know. I, I couldn't spend the kind of money that they want for these things on such an ugly car. I mean, you guys can play me if you're fans of it, but I don't know. I like the older BMWs. They look a lot cleaner. Yeah. They're less Don't weird. Like, look look at the front end on this 7 Series. I don't know, it's, it's so busy looking, and then it's got these tiny headlights with the gigantic grill. Just odd, just everything about it is odd. Okay, now we're over here at the Ford booth. We got a, a Everest Wild Track that's got a, a ARB front bumper on it. That looks pretty cool. Like, it seems like you could actually take this thing off-road. Let's go find a Ranger. Here's the new Ranger trim I haven't seen yet. The MSRT, it looks like it's lowered a little bit. It's got bigger wheel arches on it, or they're flared out. This thing looks pretty cool. I think they should have lowered it more, but maybe not for driving around Bangkok streets. I like kind of the, is this a fake vent? Yeah, that's a fake vent. It looks kind of neat though. I like the, the roof spoiler here, and then the, it's got a tailgate spoiler built in, and a, a tonneau cover built in, it looks like. This thing looks pretty nice. And they got Mustangs over here, or one Mustang. It's kind of a neat gold color. Go look around it a little bit. Maybe they'll have a price on the window. Five million baht, not sure how much that is. It's a GT, so at least you're gonna get a V8 with that amount of money. Okay, let's go move on. Try to not fall off of the steps. Got a bunch of more cars over there to look at. And I haven't even made it to the, the supercar exhibit yet. I'll have to go find that. But they have the new Corolla Cross. Everything has to have a crossover version. It's not like they didn't have the RAV4 already. They have to have a Corolla Cross. At least they got Hilux pickups still. So let's take a look at these real quick. There's a lot of people around. Here we go. We got the new Hilux Champ over here. I'm really liking these trucks. I think like the total utilitarian look of them looks awesome. They're so simple. People are already modding them. Like this has big brakes. I don't know who makes those, but the, the wheels look cool on it. They got it loaded up with random boxes. I like the tray where they have the sides that fold down like that. Super useful. And over here we have this camper one that looks really cool. Hilux Champ Camper RV, nice. It's a Carry Boy brand. I guess that's a, a local RV manufacturer or coach builder. Maybe we can see if we can look inside of it. We got a bicycle on the back. This thing looks really nice. Okay, let's go inside. Gotta kick your shoes off. See what the inside looks like. Looks pretty nice. It's very cozy. They have the bed area up over the cab. We can totally stand up in here. It's actually pretty tall. I mean, I, I'm about 5'9". What is that, like 173 centimeters, something like that. It's got a nice little table. Seat's pretty comfortable. You got your little TV here. Looks like there's a, a pass-through into the cabin. It's got a microwave. You sit here. I actually have like a shower and a toilet. That's actually a pretty decent size too. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I would go camping in that. Oh, this is pretty neat. They have this uh, medical use reefer truck or refrigerated box. Let's go take a look in the back. So you can put all your cargo in here that you need refrigerated. Like there's just so many ways to build out one of these champs. And Toyota's supposed to like hook you up with whoever you need to build the stuff or build whatever your outfit needs. Like they'll they'll hook you up with Carry Boy to get that. They'll hook you up with whoever makes these boxes or do whatever else you need. See, and this truck is 527,000 baht. So it's about 14 and a half thousand dollars. That's so freaking cheap. That's crazy. 
We need stuff like this in the US. The trucks that we have in the US start at like 25,000 or $26,000. It's insane. I'm over here in the Mazda booth and I just saw this Mazda 2 rookie drive. I don't know what a rookie drive is. I think the sign said uh, it's got a 1.3 liter, but it's kind of a funny name for the car. I do like the, the color combinations on it though. Like the orange and gray looks pretty cool. These wheels look pretty neat too. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Half-Life Portal game. <laughs> I used to have the first generation Mazda 2. I had a, a green one that was the sport model. Or not the sport model, the uh, Touring. And over here we also have the new BT50. I don't think I've seen one of these. I see them with the, like the old front end more. Those are kind of neat pickups. I always thought Mazda should bring one of these to the US so you could tow your Mazda race car with your Mazda pickup. Like even Porsche guys have the Cayenne to tow their 911s with. Okay, I'm over here at the Suzuki booth and I found a concept that I didn't even know I wanted to find. But look at this thing. It's the, uh, the EWX. I guess it's a EV concept, but it's like a little SUV thing. It's like a, it reminds me of a Jimny, but like a four door thing. I guess this would be closer to an Every, which maybe that could be part of the, the name to be named after the Every. But look at the, the tires that they have on it. It's got a really neat tread pattern, like the same pattern that's on the wheels. This thing looks pretty cool. Let's go take a look at some of the other cars that they have over here. Like they have a uh, Solario. It's their little, uh, little hatchback. And they also have a Jimny that apparently this is like the wedding vehicle to get. It, it comes with cans already attached. I mean, how could you go wrong? Here's the Suzuki I really want. This Jimny is awesome. Like it's got a carbon fiber hood, big light bar. It's got a rack on it. It's got some toe points. It's got a guard for the diff. It's got some raised wheels or Volk, Volk racing wheels with some endless brakes on it. It's got big fender flares. I really like the, the hatch spoiler, but this is, this is also my favorite color of these things. This thing looks so cool. Oh, they got this little camp area set up. What does it have under here? Oh, I see a, a Olin's shock reservoir. It's got a titanium exhaust. Look at that. That's awesome looking. They just love these pie cuts. Like you can't even really see these from behind the car unless you get under it, but they did it anyway. The titanium exhaust. It's got a diff skid plate here. It's got the, the Olin suspension. Man, this thing is awesome. It's like ready to go on the trail. I kind of like the, uh, the clear fuel filler door. I think this might be the car of the show for me. I just love these little things. Oh, I like the, it's got the intercooler in here too. That's rad. I like this Suzuki Swift that they have here. This thing looks pretty cool. It's got like Watanabe style wheels on it. I think it, Classic 69 is kind of funny. Look, it's got like diamond stitching on the, the seats. It looks pretty nice. I gotta find one of these to rent to see how they drive. So I think they look pretty cool. Like I like the styling of how it, it kind of comes in right here. It looks really sporty. This is pretty interesting. They have an Elf EV over here over at the Isuzu booth. And they've got a clear bed on it to show you the batteries and stuff. So you got these big battery packs they say they're 20 kilowatt hour battery packs. And then they've got the big motor over here. Then on this side, it says it's got AC and DC port charging. So this must be where they put the charging plug. I think something like that would be really good if you're at a port moving stuff around and the vehicle just stays in like a limited area. That's like one of the best use cases. I think this V-Cross looks pretty cool. It's got some rooftop tent thing, I think, up there. I like how they have it kind of flexed out. Oh, it doesn't look like the suspension is flexed that much. I mean, it's independent. It's got all the recovery equipment up there. All right, I'm over here at the BYD booth and they've got their new, like, supercar concept. I don't know if maybe they're manufacturing it. I don't really know anything about it. 
I just saw it over here, but this thing looks really cool. I mean, it's got kind of McLaren styling with these headlights. It's got all the carbon fiber trim on it. There's a big spoiler. Man, look at this. I like the, the engine cover or what would be the engine cover if it wasn't an EV. Look at the diffuser and stuff that they have. This thing looks really cool. It's got some huge brakes on it too. I mean, this definitely does not look like a boring EV to me. Some of these cars are very impressive looking that are coming out of China. Okay, I'm over here at the ION booth. Look at this Hyper SSR. This thing looks crazy. I like the, uh, the kind of scissor doors, or would these be like the butterfly style? These look really nice. And I like the yellow on it. I don't know about the, the orange interior though. That's a little odd. Okay, here's another Hyper SSR. It looks like we can get closer to this one. It's got carbon fiber on the front end. I like the black interior in it with the orange. This is like the same color combo as my friend's uh, C8 Corvette. It'd be fun to see these line up together. A C8 in one of these, what would win? I have no idea how fast these are supposed to be. This NADA Sport GT looks really cool. Uh, it's another Chinese manufacturer EV. Well, these cars, I don't know, the styling on them looks really good. I mean, look at this thing. I and mean, they're starting to like take over. I haven't seen anything, any of these driving around, but I'm sure it won't be long until we start seeing them at regular car shows. I found a few more Jimneys. They call this one the Little G. This is called the Little G15. These are all kits from Damned in Japan. And then they got the Little D, or Little Defender. This one looks pretty really cool. And they got it in like the same color too. I like the wheels and they're kind of, yeah, those are awesome. I like the, they got the white roof with it too. This thing looks really nice. Okay, this is the last EV booth that I wanted to go to. It's the VinFast booth and they have their new pickup here, the Wild. Now VinFast is a Vietnamese company. So like they're one of the only ones that's not a Chinese company with EVs over here. But this truck looks pretty neat. And it's got a good sized bed. What's going on in the rails over here? Okay. Looks like it's got a pass through in the back. It's got some flared plastic looking wheel arches, weird wheels, but it looks pretty decent overall. And I like the, the hood's pretty aggressive looking. It looks pretty different too. I was in uh, Vietnam like a year ago and I was riding through the whole country and I was randomly seeing VinFast charging network stuff being set up throughout the country, like in the middle of nowhere. They were doing a similar thing like Tesla was with their charging network. But they've got this little guy that looks pretty cool. The VF3, it's almost like a Jimny and a Toyota FJ Cruiser slammed together and created a little Vietnamese EV crossover thing. Looks pretty neat though. I think it looks more interesting than pretty much all their other offerings other than the pickup. Because right, the rest of it is like that thing over there, it's like a crossover. This is more of a crossover looking thing. I don't know. Other than that, they have some EV sedans that I thought looked pretty nice when I was in Vietnam, but they don't seem to have them here or maybe they don't make them anymore. So we're here at the tech art booth and they have a bunch of modified 911s that look really cool. Let's go take a look. I really like the this purple 718. This looks really nice. But this one I think is my favorite over here. This blue and yellow color scheme looks super cool. It looks pretty clean. Like all their cars, they're not all wild looking. Yeah, they look really nice. Like this place has EV pickups with battery swapping stuff. That one's got batteries underneath it so you can swap them out there. But then this one has the bank there. And they have this robot arm that will pull it out. Like there's the kind of a cab over truck and it pulls them out of this charging system and we'll just swap it right in there. Uh, this Bentley Continental GT is pretty awesome. And they got one of those Bentegas, gross. Wow, they had this 
Kuntosh concept over here. I almost missed in the supercar area. This thing looks incredible. They also have these Formula Student cars, or it says SAE Thailand. That's what we call it in the US, Formula SAE. These look awesome. One of my friends did this in Germany, and I also know a few people in Washington that did it with uh, UW. These are really cool. Look at this weird little car. It's like a little kit car. I have no idea what this is, but it looks pretty cool. They have a bunch of Ferraris over here that I don't really know anything about. They look nice though. What is this one? This is a 348. I like these ones. I like the the side scoops. And then there's a, a 355, I think, because they're kind of like a, I think they're an upgraded 348. Yeah, this is a 355 Berlinetta. Then I believe this is a 360. And then after that, I don't really know what they are. Here's one I like, a 308. These things are pretty nice looking. They got this McLaren long tail. Yeah, these are really cool. I like the McLarens, they're really wild looking. I like how there's air scoops in the headlights. You can see a little radiator in there. Here's a Rolls Royce Dawn. I never heard of this before, but it looks pretty cool. It's a two door. Look how big those doors are. Oh, it looks like they're uh, suicide doors too with the handle there. And we got this big Hummer H1 Alpha. This thing's massive, but then it's not as big as the H2. Like the H2 just seems like a bigger vehicle and it's much uglier. Well, that was the motor show. Like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite car was, and I'll see you guys in the next video.